Hi there, guys. Um, my name is Wes Sept, and uh, this is essentially Obscure Modeling with Prince Preston. Uh, I'm also known as Preston Icarus Prince, and uh, I build these cars out of paper, and then I spread body filler on them and sand them into shape, and this is a 72 Fastback. And uh, these are the wheels, and this is all built out of Pepsi box and Old Milwaukee box and Captain Crunch and Granola box, and it's just all made out of paper. And then, like I said, I use modeling putty, and that gray on there, that is, in fact, uh, auto body filler, and the interior is in there, and the seats even have stitching on. You can't really see stitching on them. You can see it a bit, though, to look like they're upholstered and stuff, and... I stuff rags in there while I'm doing the body work just to kind of keep the interior clean and in the end I'm going to use compressed air to clean it or whatever so and uh, this is the motor for that it's got two superchargers and this motor is mostly 90% made out of old Milwaukee box and um, it almost looks like it's made from a kit and it was a lot of work to do that or whatever and I'm going to be showing how I build these cars on my videos and stuff too and just so people know, I, I'm going to upload my videos on Mondays. That's the day, and I'm brand new to this. But every Monday, there's going to be something new. And just under my name, Wesley Sept, or Paper, whatever, look for Paper Fastback. And I did upload an episode already that uh, shows the gold one. That's Project One. So under Paper Cobra, you can see that one. Um, but... Uh, it's obscure modeling. This model right there, the two-headed monster, when I went to the Def Leppard concert, I bought him up in Calgary and in town here. I'm from Medicine Hat. I found this in town and it's from the same brand. It's the same guy and I just had to have him. And he fell over and broke his leg. So I fixed him and then he fell over and broke both his legs. And I've broken both my legs in real life too from BMXing. So yeah, I just knew I was gonna he was going to fall over. They're quite heavy and they're not hollow, those kits, those ones, so. Um, so right here, these are the pieces to build an engine block. And everything I build, I glue tabs in place first and let those cure to make it so much easier. But those pieces there to the left and to the right, that makes the engine block, and that's the engine block. And it's a toy. You're not going to show the cylinders or whatever, right? So you take the engine block there, and then these pieces here... And this is the engine block with the heads on it. And you can see the trannies there too. Um, it's looking really good. And that's a lot smaller than what I usually build. And you can see this tunnel ramp and dual carbs here, man. That is built all out of Pepsi box and rolled up piece of paper. And I've just started painting it. And it's got toothpicks involved with it too. And it really looks like what it is. Like, I'm yeah, my cars are getting better and better. So... But I just consider each piece a box and uh, just take my time. And I mean, you really got to, too. And it's so worth it, man. It's so worth the payoff. So, And this is how you build a wheel. You just select your size, cut out a circle. And then this is a new thing for me is to cut a piece of pie out of it to close the gap and kind of give a dish defect or whatever, kind of like this red piece right here. But like I said, every piece, you got to glue these tabs in place to make it so much easier. And then... That curved piece right there fits right around and here's one that's d done and in place or whatever and from there you build the tire onto it and that's going to be a really wide rim or whatever so but I've learned from experience what I want for the effects I'm going for and it's all looking really good and I'm unsure of what car this engine and these wheels are going to be for but I've been saying that I'm going to be doing one based on a tea bucket called the creep wagon with kind of a monster driving it and kind of a graveyard theme and um yeah if you subscribe to my channel it's going to be 90 percent 80 90 percent these cars these custom cars and then the rest just obscure models and stuff and a pill bottle thrown in here and there and i'll be talking about toys from the 70s and you never know what but uh anyways thank you so much have a great day